Today we'll be treating the hand again. We've done this treatment previously with the NRAF 811. Today we'll be doing it with the Gymna Shockmaster 300. Start by removing the 20mm head and replace it with a 15mm convex head. You can tell this is the convex head because it's got the silver tip and not the copper tip. The Gymna is an air compressed machine, not a, a magnetic electro machine. And so its settings are in bar, We've gone down to one bar, which is the equivalent of 60 millijoules. We'll do 2000 shocks again at 10 hertz. We're back with the hand now. We'll apply some gel into the gutter between the two metacarpals. This is where the scar tissue is. Just spread out the gel and start the shock wave. The difference between an electromagnetic machine and an air compressed machine is there will be no change in tone as you do the treatment. The tone will stay exactly the same. This means you're much more reliant on the patient to give you feedback as to where the actual problem areas lie or where the trigger point areas lie. In this case the trigger points are towards the end of the gutter and down at the bottom of the gutter towards the uh, end of the metacarpals. The bit in between seems to have cleared now. This is the third treatment. The other two treatments were done with the MF811. As you can see the patient's giving feedback on where the worst problems are. It's difficult to concentrate on the worst areas for any length of time on the hand just simply because it's so sensitive and uh, it really is painful to have the treatment even at these low settings when you have uh, scar tissue in between the metacarpals. You can see the patient's in a degree of discomfort. You can always tell when you're on the right area by the look on the patient's face. As I like to say the fear in their eyes. The patient's offering feedback about how the shockwave is reverberating up the arm. And try and concentrate on the worst areas as much as we dare. Obviously we don't want the patient passing out. Certainly don't want the patient vomiting during the treatment. And so we just take our time, move up and down the gutter. Put the shockwave through the area. The symptoms for this patient have already started changing. The filling of the gutter is disappearing. There is actually a line now in between the two metacarpals. And the scar tissue appears to be going down already. There's obviously still some problems at the very bottom and very top. The patient can now clench and make a full fist, which you'll see at the end. And the patient's grip is improving. Overall, it appears the shockwave is clearing the gutter after this fairly nasty injury. It is actually quite rare to dislocate a carpal metacarpal joint, as this patient did. Overall, there's been some vast improvement. It's interesting that this patient has actually had a lot of treatment, a lot of deep massage therapy, ultrasound therapy, laser therapy, exercises, both strengthening and stretching to try and ease off the problem. And so far, nothing has worked. And this third session of Shockwave here is already seeing good improvements and should continue to do so as long as the scar tissue continues to clear.